$3,000 at 8% for six years. So all this is doing is telling you if you're gonna do this by a table, which row, which column. So have a look. This here says period, because remember it could be years, it could be months, it could be quarters, it could be anything you like. But I've kept it nice and simple, so which row am I gonna go down to? The sixth row, so here we go. And then 8% is the largest one that's provided on this table, so you're gonna go all the way across, and then you land on this number, 7.3359. What do you do? with this number. Okay, I'm gonna multiply by 3,000, but this is really important. I need to ask you this question because right now it's clear because you've done this very recently, but in the future, when you haven't done this for a while, you need to understand, why do we do that? Why are we multiplying by 3,000? Why not say, add to 3,000, or divide, or raise to the power of? Why is this what we're doing? Okay. Wait, can you say that again slowly? Because <laughs> well, I just want to make sure I understand. Yeah, very good. In case I, I think the phrase that was that was important was that this, and I'd love you to hire this underneath yours as well. This is what every single dollar. This is what every single dollar in the annuity becomes after this amount of time and uh, at that interest rate, right? So every single dollar um, becomes this. Now, remember why that's the case, because that's a lot, right? This is six years, this is six years. So the minimum this is going to be, because it's an annuity, is, well, they're gonna put in the one dollar six times, right? So that's why you're up six and above. Um, what's the reason for the discrepancy? What's, why is it bigger than six? Because there's interest, right? Each one of those six dollars that you've put in over time is going to attract some interest. One point three three five nine dollars is what that interest adds up to. Okay. So being that every single dollar turns into this, then why does that explain why I do this? Because you have three thousand of them. Yeah, exactly. Every single dollar does this, and you've got three thousand in three thousand different bank accounts. This is what each one of them will do. So, what's the actual number? I think it's like 20 something? 22? 22? 22,000 and... Now, I'll, I'll just point out, because I saw it, I mean, two people asked me to check their answer, and both people had this, presumably because that's exactly what your calculator says. However, this is currency. This is dollars and cents. So therefore, you don't need to be told how many decimal places you should put. It's two. You should put two. Okay, even though materially the numbers have the same value, um, we would say that's 70 cents, so we want to make sure the second decimal place is there. Okay, happy times. Now, what I want you to now think about is, I've, I've said this is present value with a table, the table that I had on the screen before, but we know how to work out present value uh, by trying to look at the formula and data sheet and using, I'll, I'll show it to you, and using the formula that you find there, where is it, here it is. Okay, uh, right there. There you go, can you see it? So the present value formula is right there. So I can say it's equal to, now this is the FV in the future value in that formula, right? So I'm going to put that number in, like that. Now what am I dividing by? One plus three. What's the rate this time? Six, zero. Look carefully. Eight. Eight. It's eight, right? Zero, eight. To the power of six. Okay, great. So this is going to give us a different number. Go ahead, reach for your calculator, and again, give me two decimal places. What's our answer? Someone got it there? Um, 13,868.5.84. Okay, so we'll round that to 5, 8. Okay. Are you happy with that? So, we've used this formula. What has it, like, what does this answer mean? We already talked about what this 7.3359 means. What is this? What is this equivalent to? Think back to, it was, a, it was earlier, um, Monday. 
think back to what is the significance of this number to this situation. Yeah. So like if I if I have that much right now, if yep. I have thirteen thousand eight hundred, and then if in six years with eight percent every single year, yep. that's how much like twenty two thousand. That, that, that's how, that's how much I'm gonna get in six years. Okay. So, yeah. You know Very good. So in case you didn't quite catch that. <laughs> The $3,000 annuity means you're going to put $3,000 in, you're going to do it year after year after year, it's going to get its interest, and this is what it's going to turn into. But, if you wanted to do this in one hit without having to repeatedly put in money, if you just wanted to put in some amount of money and then it just gets that interest for that amount of time, then to get to the same goal, to get to the same endpoint in the future, then this is what you've got to begin with. As Sandy said, this is what you'll need right now in order to invest and just let compound interest do its thing. Okay. Now, we've looked at this and it's not too hard to use this. However, just like you did up here and used the table to get this 7.3359 number, what I want you to understand today is that you can use a table to get this 13,868 number. Okay. So now, page 271, which is what I asked you to have a look at before. Page 271. 